Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and welcome to a special holiday collection update here on Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasting Transylvanian recordings, Swamp Witch, Dead Rituals, Doomy, Gloomy, Sludge. So fucking good. I really hope we get some new material in 2021. Which I still can't get over. It's gonna be 2021. That sounds like some legit future stuff. Like, in the year 2021, Sludge Metal will make a comeback. That would be awesome. And it might, considering when you see some of these records I have to go over and how fucking heavy they are. But, Swamp Witch, Dead Rituals, I love this album, or EP, I don't know what they consider it, but it's so good, and Swamp Witch is one of those bands, their discography is dialed from day one, so you can go all the way back and they just have killer releases. So, Hail to James and Transylvanian Recordings, Swamp Witch... Dead Rituals, Sludgy, Gloomy, Doomy, Sonic Excess. Get into it. And next up, hailing from Mexico and reissued on Extremely Rotten Productions. I thought I missed this, but then a few friends of mine were like, Ah, it's all... You didn't really miss anything. Like, it doesn't sound too good and I was like what do you mean like what are the vote like, like what what's wrong with the tape and they were like ah like the production is and I was like yeah it's you know taken from I'm pretty sure two seven inches and a song that was on a compilation like there's only so much you can do to make it sound you know <laughs> like listenable without taking away the heart and soul of it and to me that's the point of having a demo compilation like this this is Mexico's Cenotaph with Tenebros Atronom so fucking awesome I love the vocals on here. It's the reason I picked this up. Even though I was told the production was lacking, there's nothing you can do about that because these demos slash seven inches, you get Tenebroros Apparitions, which was recorded in 1990. And The Eternal Disgrace, which was recorded in 1991. Then a 1991 track called Evoked Doom. Now, I will be honest. Sometimes the drums sound like they were being recorded in the back room of a strip club somewhere in Mexico. But it's all gravy because the vocals and the riffs make up for it. Some of the riffs are so fucking filthy and very autopsy sounding it just puts a smile on your face and then the vocals sound straight from the fucking sewer you could tell like David from Undergang definitely has a little bit of cenotaph in his vocal delivery like and this really reminded me a lot of something that would come out of Finland in the mid 90s, well, early to mid 90s as well, but it happens to hail from south of the border, so this demo comp, it's fucking cool. Here's two promo photos. I love the cover art, but two promo photos and the original artwork. Filthy, filthy stuff here. I love how just dark and nasty the eternal disgrace is it's such a good demo like I, I love it 
and if you're into like cult death metal, and when I'm saying cult death metal, I'm not saying KVLT, I'm saying like it's, you know, it's not for everybody. Like if you're going into this expecting this is like Heat Eternal production, you're looking at the wrong fucking place. Like this is raw, heavy, and early 90s ancient filthy death metal from the sewers of Mexico. It's awesome. And yeah, the drumming is a little weird in the mix, but like I said, it's a demo comp with material from 1990 and 1991. Like, it sounds as good as it's gonna fucking sound. So, hails to fucking ERP, and hails to Parasitic for having this, like, Tim's a fucking man, like, but, I got a package from Dry Cough Records, or it might have been Rope or Guillotine, I really don't know, now, Dry Cough Records has sent some shit to the channel before. I've gone over it. I've loved everything they've sent so far. It's all mostly sludgy goodness. And they're actually putting out Slime Lord, the Delta Death Sirens on vinyl. So I'm very, very stoked that Dry Cough Records is getting into death metal. And also... Hails the Slime Lord, Seed of Doom, Sewer Rot, and now Dry Cough. Like, fuck yeah, guys. Like, that's how you know you killed it with the demo. I don't know if this is an EP or a demo. I forget what this is considered. It is five tracks. But, yeah. I just think it's awesome, because Dry Cough is a, is a badass record label. And maybe this will get more death metal heads into checking out Sludge and Doom. But first off, here's a Dry Cough Records and Roper Guillotine release that I am in love with. And that's Leech Feast Neon Crosses. Dry Cough Records and Roper Guillotine. Oh, this is is devastatingly heavy and pissed off sludge. It brings me back to like the first time I ever heard Corrupted. Yeah. Corrupted, Iron Monkey, and Nuthgrush influences are very heavy here. The artwork alone should give you a little hint of what you're in for. Oh my goodness. Just awesome, awesome fucking stuff. Very nihilistic, and this whole release is just so fucking good. Like, when I first heard Tar and Razor Nest, I was like, thank you so much for sending this my way and introducing me to Leech Feast. And as soon as I opened it as well and I saw the lyrics, I was like, oh my god, this band is cool as fuck. And yep, they are. The lyrics are absolutely amazing, and the tunes themselves are just re goddamn ridiculous. And this was recorded in the Netherlands. It's just a fucking monster. I, I love it. Like, I'm a big, big, big fan of Sludge, and this is just done so fucking well, and yeah. You know, when one of your influences is Nuthgrush, you really gotta be on top of that fucking hate-filled Sludge, and Leech Feast does not disappoint on that level. Like, I would love to see Leech Feast do a split with, like, Hell. Or, like, whatever MSW's doing. It would just, or Mizmore, even. It would be a 
great fucking split in my opinion. Cause like some of the, like the tones on here remind me of Hell 2. Like it has that kind of like where the guitar sounds like a fucking whale. Yeah, it, it's awesome. Get in the leech feast. Neon Crosses. Dry Cough Records and Roper Guillotine. Total banger. Like, 100%. If you're looking for something new and something that's not death metal, this is something I highly, highly recommend. As well as Left to Starve. This is a Roper Guillotine release, as well as Mad Schnauzer Records and Slowly Growing Death. Death like death. So you kind of already know you're getting into some fucking heavy, heavy sludge here with Nakata si nisum bojo zimaja, which is the name of this record right here. Look at how fucking gorgeous the cover art is. I thought this was a black metal band when I first looked at it, and then when I put it on, I was like, what the fuck? This rules. I love, again, I love good sludge metal, and this just tickled my fancy plain black vinyl and heavy fucking duty shit right here 33 rpms of sludgy goodness courtesy of left to starve with nikita c nism baljayo zemaya yeah that that's actually the title like i'm not fucking around and again, you get some killer fucking sludgy tunes, and it's very, very well done. There's the title, so you know I wasn't fucking around. Not sure what country these folks are from, but there's like some additional noise on here. It's just, it's fucking cool, like, just a killer release. Yeah, and a lot of the song titles are in a different language, but I think they might be translated. I think they are translated here. The Golden Radio Dioxin. Your fear has built walls. I never feared snakes. Dimensions of power and imprisoned encircling. I'm not sure if that's everything, but I don't know. That's this side of the lyric sheet. And this is all in a different language. So, Left to Starve with Nakada Si Nizam Boljayo Zimaja. I'll put the link in the video description. But again, Killer Sludge that's on Rope or guillotine as well as mad schnauzer records and slowly growing death records awesome stuff seriously and we have one more record to check out and this is my second favorite sludgy record that either dry cough or um roper guillotine sent over and this happens to be I-R-N, the EP. First off, you got some witch hat mushrooms, meaning they're the psychedelic kind. And this guy is just festering into a giant fucking pile of fungus. Amazing cover art, and read that logo. So good. And I was thinking this was a death metal release until I opened it and was like, oh, fuck. 
And here we have two other labels that help put this out besides Roper Guillotine. And that is Cranophagus Parasitics Records and Bad Moon Rising, which has some Warhead art. But this bad boy is two tracks of some of the heaviest fucking sludge you're gonna hear coming out of Canada. This was recorded at Bog Churn Studios in Toronto. And it's just super fucking good. Artwork by Yanis Panos. All sounds by I N I mean, by I R N and you have blood seeping from your eyes and forever miserable. So if you're a fan of Nuth Grush, meet one of your new favorite bands. Same with Corrupted and again, Iron Monkey, like Grief. You're gonna love this shit. I guarantee it. Like the cosmetics are gorgeous and I love the DIY style of the actual LP. And this is some heavy duty shit. Like for a two song EP, I feel like it kind of has to be because this is a fucking monster. I'm guessing you gotta drop some mushrooms and put this bad boy on full blast and enjoy the ride like look at that cover art again it's just fucking awesome but luckily speaking of mushrooms i talk to paul speckman sometimes and he picks mushrooms and stuff and i thought i found a whole entire batch of like like witch caps and witch caps are a psychedelic psilocybin mushroom. So I knew he knew something about mushrooms. So I was like, Paul, are these edible or will I die if I eat these? And he hit me right back and was like, do not eat those. You will die. So thank you, Paul Speckman. Hails to Master, Death Strike, fucking legend. You saved my ass. But this is so fucking good. Definitely check out IRN. This EP is crushing. Legit, I felt like a fucking bug. And this bad boy just smashed me into little buggy bits. But that's this little collection update for the holidays because the U.S. Postal Service can't get first-class mail anywhere. It's a fucking shit show. Like, I'm missing currently 13 packages. 13! Fuck! <laughs> but, randomly, like, this stuff arrived and... So did the Cenotaph tape. So I was like, let's do a little collection update. Because this isn't just all death metal. We have a ton of sludge to get us through the long night. Which is going to be a long winter. Trust me, I feel it in my bones. But thanks again to Rope or Guillotine, Dry Cough Records... Parasitic Records, Extremely Rotten Productions. I forget who actually snagged me this, but thank you so fucking much. Like I said, I am so backed up on orders, I can't remember certain things. Fuck my life, I'm sorry. I really am, I'm truly sorry. Because I can't remember the person's name that snagged me this. So I really, I really am sorry. But thank you to James at Transylvania Recordings for always hooking the channel up and showing total support. And Swamp Witch Dead Rituals, 
Wow. Even if you're new to Sludge, this is one of those releases that I feel is a great gateway release. Like, it's something you can listen to and be like, whoa, like, I really like this sound. Or maybe it's not for you. Like, and if that's the case, then you gotta start somewhere just to make sure you really don't like Sludge. And I would say... Something along the lines of, I hate God's take is needed for pain. Like, it's... It, come on. If you don't like I hate God, you're watching the wrong fucking channel, honestly. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hells. <laughs>